will be a big thing with him because he's coming off missing last season because of Tommy John surgery. But he was, in a lot of people's eyes, the best closer in the game in 2013 and 2014. We're talking about a huge move for a team that believes that it can be in it. And suddenly, when you have that piece added to the puzzle, there's reason to believe that they're justified to think it. I'm Matt Wehmeyer with the MLB.com FastCast. The Rockies have reportedly come to terms with free agent closer Greg Holland on a one-year deal with a vesting option for the 2018 season. The deal is pending a physical, which is not insignificant considering the 31-year-old's injury history. Holland missed the entire 2016 season after undergoing Tommy John surgery late in the 2015 campaign. But between 2013 and 2014, the right-hander was as dominant as any closer in the game with a 1.32 ERA, a K's per nine rate of 13.4, and 93 saves in a Royals uniform. Team USA's lineup for the upcoming World Baseball Classic went from fearsome to frightening with one simple tweet on Tuesday night. Marlon slugger Giancarlo Stanton announced via social media that he will represent the Stars and Stripes and doing so in his own backyard as Team USA opens pool play at Marlins Park between March 9th and the 13th. Stanton also played for Team USA back in 2013. And though the imposing slugger is coming off a disappointing 2016 season, he still won the home run derby during All-Star Week in San Diego with a derby record at 61 total home runs. The Reds have reportedly agreed to a one-year deal with veteran right-hander Scott Feldman. Just weeks shy of his 34th birthday, Feldman split 2016 between the Astros and Blue Jays, posting a 3.97 ERA in 40 appearances, including five starts. What the Reds really have gotten here is a veteran swingman, and he looks like he could be part of that rotation and pick up some of the innings that they lost when they traded Dan Straley last week. Reds may have uh, gotten a guy that really suits their needs very nicely here with Feldman, and he could fit in with the other uh, pitchers in the rotation at the bullpen pretty well. The Red Sox have avoided arbitration with left-hander Drew Pomerantz, agreeing on a one-year deal worth $4.45 million. After a stellar first half for the Padres, which earned him all-star honors, Pomerantz had mixed results following a trade to Boston for top pitching prospect Anderson Espinosa. The left-hander compiled a 4.59 ERA in just under 69 innings in a Sox uniform. The Rays have agreed to a one-year deal with former Rangers closer Sean Tolleson. The 29-year-old racked up 35 saves for Texas in 2015, but suffered through a disastrous 2016 campaign, which resulted in losing his closer's job to Sam Dyson. Tolleson turned in a 7.68 ERA in 37 appearances, including four blown saves. He owns a 3.92 career ERA as he enters his sixth big league season. For more on these stories and the very latest hot stove activity, keep it locked in to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.